A statue. Unsure why this is here. A small bag of cocaine, used for recreational and hedge fund purposes. A jar containing shards of the Los Locos methamphetamine. A handwritten label includes the weight of the product, the street value, the location of the finding, the date it was collected, and the forensic specialist who collected it. A name tag taken from the corpse of Midacer Verma, the For You gas station manager who was ruthlessly murdered while attempting to call 911 during the robbery. A series of handwritten notes on a leaflet's dirty paper. On the left, a series of plans are sketched out. On the right, notes list times and dates that the DeBanco transport vehicles are expected to arrive, as well as the contents of the For You gas station safe. Crystal Layton's Teddy, taken by LSVD Forensics. The bear is torn on one side, presumably a sign of the child's stress during the incident. A piece of aging paper found in a child's coloring book. A picture of a man on fire can be seen. The text above reads, 1997, likely a reference to the 1997 Los Suenos fire, which killed hundreds of residents within the 213 park area. A text exchange on the phone of one of the meth cooks, in Spanish, to a Los Locos boss. The phone appears to have been broken, but has been repaired by LSBED to get the requisite information from within. A rare figurine of the anime character Pakumaku from the popular animated series Shinigami. Only 50 of these figures were released, many gifted from Hexen Studios to popular streamers, including Michael. The item was sequestered by forensics due to the number of different DNA sources on the figurine. Might want to wear gloves for this one. A police report detailing the events of Michael's sexual misconduct investigation. Much of the situation and the controversy that followed were forgotten, with the charges put against him having been dropped entirely despite insurmountable evidence pointing towards its legitimacy. One of Mindjot's lesser-known side projects, the HXR Bitcoin Miner, is capable of generating profits of almost $800 daily. Considered a highly desired item, the HRX Miner was only available and intended for very few content creators, mainly creators who participated in a promotional Bitcoin scam spearheaded by MindJot. Knowing the lack of moderation by Open House, streamers who participated remained on the platform cashing in on their credulous fan base falling for the scam, while also generating new money via their latest equipment. A painted high-density storage unit used at the Monjot Facility Data Center. It features a strange hand-painted set of initials with an accompanying sticky note that outlines its potential contents. Printed resignation letter on an A4 sheet of paper. The letter describes the facility manager's current outlook on Monjot and his discontent with many of the suspected illegal activities occurring at the time of its writing. A crumpled letter discovered in a dumpster outside of the Brixley Talent Time building. Inside, a cryptic letter has been carefully flattened out. A series of wax seals are visible on the letter. The letter includes a series of linked wax seals with cryptic images. The images on the seals include such things as a dead dog, a burning man, redwood tree, and a boat on a dock. The words on the letter are a garbled mess, but some words on the edges of the paper are clear, staircase, authority, violel, I, control, s -X, and Brixley. A leather-bound book with tattered edges, documenting appointments at Brixley Talent Time. The documentation is for the month of February. 
Forensics analysis of writing points towards a likelihood that this was written by Brixley. An old advertising pamphlet from the early 2000s, highlighting the purpose of this clinic and its value to the city. Clearly, this didn't work out well, as the structure has since been repurposed by new owners. An old dusty box found by Detective Reed while examining the scene. This box contains a number of items, a photo of some officials, as well as a suspicious photo of the Brisa Cove Memorial Park. Aerial photograph of Brisa Cove Memorial Park area with a clear plan for when Fremont and his team will be campaigning, along with times and the best window for an attack. It appears to include a backup plan in case the primary plan fails, highlighting the route his motorcade will head towards in the event of a high-risk incident. Someone gave them this intel. The laser rangefinder used by the left-behind shooters to target Senator Fremont during his Brista Cove Memorial Park campaign. Gerard kept tabs on the LSBD's every move. Throughout the department website's short history before deletion, Gerard saved hundreds of unlisted images from their pages, particularly ones from Deep Platoon SWAT. After the Ridgeline incident, it was discovered Gerard printed numerous images of individual Deep Platoon members, including the team leader, David Judge Beaumont. A creation of Gerald and his young accomplice, a processed ricin spray device capable of causing devastating effects to persons exposed to its mist. It is extremely toxic when inhaled or having prolonged exposure to the poison, a fatal dose capable of killing an adult in 36 to 72 hours. It appeared that Gerald had plans to mail these to specific individuals in senior law enforcement positions across Los Suenos. A rare metal challenge coin gifted to members of the USAI upon completion of service, this version has been discontinued for many years. A photo of Peter and Hugh, happy and smiling looks to be taken in around the 1990s. A note in Vietnamese is inscribed on the back. A bill dated to a year prior, highlighting the cost of Hugh's most recent oncology visits, as well as an outstanding price for previous services rendered. The paper is visible crinkled as if curled up into a ball and tossed aside. Notice from the National Revenue Service regarding some recent discrepancies between the family spending versus their stated income and jobs. It is dated to a month ago. A pistol seized by trailers. These are unregulated and unregistered firearms that can be easily distributed with no trace to the source due to the serial number being non-existent and erased from the frame, making them incredibly high demand. This one sports a silver slide and a legal G-switch modification enabling automatic fire. Many of these firearms play a large part in the spike in gun crime in Los Suenos.